Hello everyone and welcome to A1R Psychic Radio and to Moonstruck TV if you're watching. Um, my name is Gail Moffat and I am a medium and I'm also a psychic, which means that I'm able to do two aspects. I can, I can connect to loved ones that you know that have passed on to the spirit world and I can also uh, look at aspects of your life and we will be inviting two callers to, to phone in uh, later on in the show, and we will be hearing which way they want me to work. Um, so that's all, all quite exciting. Um, but I would like to talk about something that happened to me this week. So I've been rushing around uh, because I'm preparing to, in the morning, I'm going to be leaving to come to California. Uh, we've got lots of shows um, booked um, in, in California, in Southern California, and we're going to be doing um, all these shows. And so I've been very busy, and my car had some screen wash, you know, we, and in England you can buy this screen wash all prepared and all done. And it was in, in the, what we call the boot, which I think is the trunk in, in America. Um, so we call it the boot. How old are we? <laughs> uh, the boot. <laughs> I think it's quite a funny name when you think about it. But anyway, it was in the trunk or the boot, which wherever you're from or whichever word you subscribe to. And I, I parked, parked up outside um, the council offices in in the town where I used to live and I thought I'm going to have to put this screen wash in the car because I, you know, the, the water, the, it run out of screen wash and I needed to have um, a clear screen to, to be able to drive. You know, it was just ridiculous. And so I thought, okay, and I haven't had this, I haven't had this car quite long. So I thought, okay, I've Inside, there's a lever that you pull, and that would lift up the just lift up the the, the front, the bonnet, and and uh, and then what you had to do is you had there's a little switch underneath, and you're supposed to glide it to the side. Well, I thought you had to sort of lift it up like I'd done on on my previous car, and I couldn't get it to to work, and I knew I had to get the screen wash. And then all of a sudden, a friend of mine drove by in, in, the, in a car, stopped the car and said, oh, hi, Gail, how are you? And out she jumped and she said, oh, do you want some help? And so she moved the, 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 the switch and lifted it up and told me where the screen wash was and, and we poured it in and, and then off she went. It's like a little angel coming into my life. And I thought about that, and I thought, well, what's the chance of her move coming along just when I needed her? What's the chance of that? And I sometimes think, you know, and you know, I, I see her, you know, once a month, or you know, I, I very rarely bump into her in in the town. And I just thought, you know, sometimes I I wonder whether there's no such thing as a coincidence. You know, is that just a coincidence, or is there a higher power at work helping me out? Um, so I'm going to leave that question um, with you um, for you to have a have a think about and um, and see what you think. But anyway, we're going to go to some callers, and I know that we have um, Nikki in Allentown, Pennsylvania, USA. Are you there? Yes, I am. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good, very good. And, and I just realised I haven't got my microphone in properly, so I'll just pop that in. Can you hear me all right? Yes, I can hear you. Good, good. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a medium, so I can connect to loved ones in the spirit world, or I can look at aspects of your life. Is there a particular way that you'd like me to work? Um, well, I have a lot of things going on in my life, and I guess it advice on what kind of going to happen because I've had so much going on. Right. Um, um, and is there anywhere in particular you'd like me to focus? Um, Just... Probably my, my love life has been right. such a mess. 
Okay. Um, let's have a look at that. Um, okay. So what I'm what I'm actually sort of picking up here is that uh, I've got sort of a, a, a sort of a gentleman, and I and I feel that. I get the sense that he's not always, um, I want to use the word nice. Would you understand that? Yes, I would. Um, because I feel like, and I'm, I can see the mouth, and I know that there's sort of words that come out that, that aren't very favourable, um, um, and, and I feel quite hurtful as well. Does that make sense to you? Yes. And I also feel that that he is um, on some level, and I don't know whether um, to what extent, but I'm just getting that sense of being a little bit abusive. Would you understand that? Uh, well... I don't mentally, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and because I, I just get this feeling of, of sort of sometimes putting you down and not respecting you um, in a way that he perhaps should, and I get the feeling with you that that you. Um, he, because of the way he's acted with you, it's, I feel that it's really sort of unbalanced you. And, you're, and, and what's happened is, is that you are, <clears throat> there's, there's a sort of sense of feeling quite insecure with you, um, almost to the point where your self-esteem has been eroded a little bit. Would you understand that? Yeah. And <clears throat> I always say um, to people that our self-esteem is a precious commodity. It's precious to us. And when somebody erodes that, it's theft. It's theft of us feeling well about ourselves. And that can stay with us for years. Um, and so it's almost like the, one of the worst things that you can do to another person is to take away their self-esteem. Um, and I can feel that very much with, with, with this situation. And, and, I, and I also get the feeling that, that um, he's not, he, he doesn't always consider your rights and your, um, it's like that he's putting um, himself first in some of his actions. Yes. Um, did you, have you lived together? To feel that sense we, of living together. But yeah, it feels we like... Did, that, we did but live it feels together like, one time. But it feels like there's a there's been a breakup. That's what I was going to say. It's like it's like I can feel there's there was living and and I feel that um, it's almost like when you broke up, it, it's like there wasn't the respect for you and your living environment. It's almost like you you were expected to um, sort yourself out. Um, does that make sense to you? Yeah. yeah. And, and I feel like that was quite a, a challenging time for you. Um, and I keep on hearing the word mum, mum around me. Um, is your mum here? My, ma my here mom is... It? Um, my Pardon? mom, is, my mom is living. Yeah. Okay. And and so, did you did you um, uh, lean on your mum when when this when this situation arose? 
Um, I do. I do still talk to my mom about things about about him. Yeah, um, because I'm being drawn to your mom. It's like spirit are making me draw drawing me to your mum because I know that your mum is is significant in in this um but I feel um I feel that there was some I feel like there's there's been some help or support um that has has come from from your mum and I I want to say that your um the situation that that you're in now is because I feel that um, I, I get this sort of feeling with with him that it's sort of like an on off on off situation, yeah. um, and I feel that sometimes when it's off, he it can be a little bit disrespectful to to you, um, and I, and I feel that. That, that with yourself, you've always felt that, that you want, it's like you want to give it another go and you, and you want him in your life. Um, but it, it's like he never sort of um, seems to treat you in the way that you, you would like him to treat you. And, and I'm being told by, by spirits that we have free will and, you know, it, it is our choice as to whether we stay with somebody or, or walk away from that person. And that choice is still uh, with you. But there are times where you think to yourself, what am I doing? Why am I, why am I with this person? But it's almost as though there's, there's that deep love that you can't sort of, it's like there's that pull that you can't seem to sort of um, walk away. And, and I feel the same for him in a way. It's like there's, 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 there's a connection that, you know, is sort of, you can't ignore. Um, but I don't feel that he treats you um, particularly well and, and has played a toll on you and has caused you to lose your self-esteem, caused you to be um, not as secure in your mind as, 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 as I'd like. Um, and I think that that is, is sort of sad. Is there young children around you? Yes. So I'm sensing children as well around you. Um, um, I had a daughter but he passed. Right. Um, but I'm just get, I'm just getting this sense that that uh, um, I, I'm just getting this sense of uh, it's almost like I want to say to you, you know, you could you could get the support from your mum because I feel that um, it, I can't I can't I can't lead you in 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 any direction because this has to be your choice but I know that um, this has been a challenging relationship for you for some time and I don't actually see there being an awful lot of change should you continue on in this path with this sort of on off situation um, because there's a, it's, it's just the person, person he is. Um, and I think, I think that if you made the decision to, um, if you made the decision to, um, change your life, I feel that your mother would be of great support to you because I get this feeling that she doesn't have a lot of respect for him. Uh, would you understand that? Yes, that is, that is very correct. 
and um, and she's been very concerned for you over the years um, t with regards to this relationship. And I just feel that she uh, would, I think if you were to ask your mum, she would prefer it if you weren't involved with, with, with him. Um, however, um, as I said before, this has to be your choice. And I know that, you know, spirit generally say to me, things are either set in stone or their um or or it's up to your free will and this is still your free will um but i know that there this is a, a challenging situation and this is a decision that the spirit the spirit world are waiting for your decision to come about how does that all sound um that sounds a lot correct <laughs> because you, you yeah. are correct i've pondered the decision to leave and it's been so on and off. I've tried so many times and I just keep going back. Mm. I don't think he helps your self-esteem. Just remember that. That's precious to you. I'd love to talk to you for a lot longer because I know that, you know, I, I know that this isn't, this is a challenging situation for you. Sadly, I've got another call waiting and um, so I'm going to have to go. But if you need to find me, um, my, my name's Gail Moffat and I'm on Facebook, um, International British Spiritual Medium. Um, so if you want to leave a message or anything, give me, give me a shout over there. Um, so anyway, thank you very much, Nikki, um, for, for calling in. Um, so hello, I've got Sandy in Hartford, Connecticut. Are you there? Yes. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm, ve I'm very well. And um, how can I help you this evening? Oh, I'm just um, wondering. Um, I'm, I'm currently um, married. Um, marriage isn't going so well. Um, I've been married for less than a year. Um, I, I do have a, a male friend of mine who uh, he's, he's, I'm very fond of, and um, we still keep in touch. Um, and he's married as well. But uh, just wondering if uh, down the road if you see anything um, like happening okay. with us together. Okay. Um... Okay, right. I'm just going to start off with the marriage, uh, first of all. Um, one of the things that I'm getting about the marriage is that that um, the person that you thought you were marrying is not the person that you married. Does that make sense to you? Almost as exactly. though the day you got married, he changed. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, it's, and it's like you... Mm. <laughs> how could you have, you know, hid your real person from me? Because that's not fair. And I just feel that um, it's it's gone from, you know, he was just this utterly charming, lovely person, and then overnight, it's like he he after the marriage he changed, and and it's just gone from bad to worse. Um, yes. He he's he's disrespectful he's rude he's demanding he's you know and all those sort of things and i just think it, it's and, and he's making your life a misery um it, that's very something i can I, I can i can very much sense um around you um and i know that um when i look at this um gentleman friend that you have um I just think that, you know, it's chalk and cheese between the two of them. Um, the gentleman friend is um, very sweet natured and and has got um, it, it, just a very caring, caring approach to, to you. Yeah. Um, and I, I get the feeling and I feel that that he's always liked your company and always. And I feel that there's been. Um, it's like I've carried a torch for you for a long time. Would you oh. know about that? Um, I, I, I know for a little while. Um, I, I don't know the extent or, or yeah, how long. 
Because I feel like I've known you for some time, you know, quite a while. Does that make sense? It, go, it goes back some time. Yes, yes, about um, eight years. Yeah, and I feel that, and I feel that, um, I feel that there was an attraction sort of right at the beginning, um, and I feel that yes. there's there's always been. For, from his point of view, there's always been a little bit of an obstacle in the way. It's always like, um, oh, I can't sort of, you know, tell her how I feel because she's over here or she's over there or she's doing this or I'm involved or, you know, there's always something that's getting in the way. Does that make sense to you? It does. It does make sense, yes. It's like, it's like the, the two of you, it's like I can see the two of you looking at each other energetically. And this is something I can do. I look, you know, I visualize two people and I can see which way they're facing. And it tells me a lot about, about how they feel about each other. And both of you are just facing each other. Um, and he's just looking at you like really adoringly. And I know that he, um, it's like he's had a crush on you for years. That's, that's how, it, that's the only way I can describe it. Um, and I know that, that, um, and, and, and you see the problem with him is he's, he's quite a good person. <laughs> yes. But, yes. Uh, and when you're in this sort of situation, you need somebody to be a bit naughty, don't you? <laughs> <I> mean, just... <laughs> and, and you see, he's a good person, and he will consider everybody, and um, and he wouldn't want to hurt anybody. And that's part of his sort of um, makeup, if you know what I mean. Yes, I um, do. I do. Yes. Um, and I can't, and it's like he wouldn't want to sort of upset his marriage or, you know, or something like that. But I do know that his heart is very strongly with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and, and the thing is, is um, uh, it goes both ways, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and and I and I and I just feel and I can just feel like his heart flutters when he sees you. He tries to play it cool though. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that, that's that's interesting. I, I just I just can I can just really really feel how um, the two of you. It's like you're dancing around the situation. You know, looking at each other, dancing around. Not literally dancing, but just skirting right. around, um, and I um, and I just feel with with him that the problem is is he's a decent man, and I'm not sure that he will um, have the strength to to pull out or um, to to do anything about it. Um, oh, okay. I'm, but I'm not I'm not saying. Never. But also, I just get the feeling there's something about him being in your life because I feel that there's a karmic connection with you two. There's a spiritual connection. And I get this feeling that you're, he's there to support you through this difficult time with your husband. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, that's happened um, a, a lot, actually, throughout the years um, that, yeah. that that's happened. Yeah where he's just there to sort of help you through difficult situations. And I get this feeling that, that it's almost like he's, a, he's like a little um, angel that's being sent from heaven. Um, he's, he's adorable, absolutely yes. adorable. Um, yes. I, I can understand why, why you like him. He's lovely. Um, <clears throat> and, and I just feel, it, it, it's, but it's, I just feel like it's sort of um, it's like a brother sister relationship, but a very loving one as well. True, true. Yes, I, I can see that. And um, and I feel that he would do anything for you. You know, if you were in trouble, he would want to help you out. He's he's a very very kind man. Yes, and and, and he said that. Um, 
numerous times on that occasion. Yeah. And and you know why he says that? Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that he loves you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh I, I, I feel there's love there. However, he will, he, it's like he holds back, holds back. Oh, all right, all right. That's interesting. <laughs> um, I didn't know that. <laughs> are, you, are you surprised by that? A, a little, a little. Yeah, because um, uh, he's not very, like, good with his feelings. Um, he doesn't... No. He's... he's a man of very few words. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I know that he, that there's an, an emotional, caring feeling towards you. And, and, I, and I can see oh. this, I can see a sort of silver cord. So I know there's a spiritual connection, which is why the two of you were connected. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Anyway, I've um, sadly the, the show's come to an end. So thank you very much, Sandy, for for thank calling you. in. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time. I yeah. hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you need I to sure get, get in contact contact with me, I'm on um, my, I'm on Facebook, Gail Moffat um, and GailMoffat dot com, Gail Moffat, uh, British spiritual medium and teacher. So do find me if you need me. Oh, okay. great! Thank you so much. I will. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sandy. Um, so, uh, hello, everyone. Um, back, to, back, to, back to everyone here now. Um, just to sort of say how uh, it's so, um, so nice to be able to think about how sometimes we are given people in our lives that help us, just like my friend who came to help me with my car earlier on today. So thank you very much. <laughs>